Acute hematogenous osteomyelitis is a rare condition in children involving about one uh, per uh, three thousands of children per year. But it is uh, com possibly related to severe complication including um, admission in intensive care unit and finally potentially the death of the child. Um, among the risk factors uh, independently related to the risk uh, of complications, it is important to underline that a uh, period between uh, symptom onset and uh, diagnosis uh, more than four days is an important factor. Uh, in, among uh, 122 children admitted in our hospital, pediatric hospital in Florence, uh, in the last uh, six years, we observed a proportion of complicated cases reaching uh, 60%, which is really high compared to um, proportions reported previously in literature. Interestingly, the median um, interval between symptom onset and admission was 5.5 days. This is uh, important uh, um, to stress uh, the, um, the necessity to um, focus on the, this possibility uh, among pediatricians uh, working in primary care as well as in the emergency department. Um, at the onset, the child uh, can not present with fever. Fever is absent up to in 40% of cases. Um, and blood tests can be negative. A C-reactive protein also uh, can be negative. And uh, X-ray uh, can be negative too um, at uh, the beginning, since it is necessary that uh, more than 50% of the bone tissue is destroyed uh, to uh, um, evidence a, a lytic lesion in the bone. MRI remains the um, gold standard for the diagnosis. Another important issue is the um, necessity uh, to um, tailor the therapy uh, on the child uh, clinical picture. Uh, in a randomized clinical trial published in 2010 demonstrated that in children older than three months without uh, complications, a shorter IV therapy followed by a um, longer oral therapy uh, can be as effective as a traditional long IV therapy, therapy usually lasting four to six weeks. It is... Uh, um, uh, of notice that uh, uh, several studies, uh, prospective studies, uh, have been published um, suggesting the use of a short therapy uh, in children. Um, short therapy has been found to be related to less uh, complications related to intravenous catheter. And, uh, it has been adopted uh, at the moment in our uh, university clinic in Florence, in Italy. But uh, unfortunately, no guidelines exist in Europe, as well as in Italy, uh, to reach a consensus about the pediatricians who care of these children um, in order to have an homogeneous uh, um, management of these children, at least in uh, European countries.